An assertion from educator Carlos zeroed in on Durham School. I've committed my entire calling to enabling an unequivocal speculation about the universe. Then, at that point, this happens, the speculation is being watched out for. I embrace this test since it is through such looking that we advance and gain ground in science. The James Webb Space Telescope is basically disturbing some extensively held convictions in cosmology that have been seen as truth for quite some time. One more ultra-trackdown picture has revealed that we have committed blunders in space science. The telescope, which was wanted to uncover the focal stars of the universe, is truly risky. The previous viewpoint could introduce a completely new legitimate perspective. Not all experts are mourned about these new divulgences. Various specialists are welcoming these levels of progress since it has for a significant time frame been evident that there were issues with our previous hypotheses. The peculiarities in viewing the universe's speed of improvement alone should have brought alert up for any circumstance. Trained professionals, an incredibly long time ago, instead of definitively loosening up these alarms, adhered to outdated speculation. The enormous microwave background radiation, CMB, which is the most outdated light in the universe, was made around 380,000 years after the Big Bang when the universe had adequately cooled for electrons and protons to approach stable hydrogen particles. This change, known as reionization, made the universe direct to light. The CMB was first recognized in 1964 by American physicists Arnold Penzias and Robert Wilson. While managing new radio authority development, they encountered a consistent clatter coming from each direction. This disclosure was at first considered strong verification for the hypothesis of the universe's starting point. Penzias and Wilson were awarded the Nobel Prize, and their revelations transformed into a critical foundation in the verifiable background of space science. The CMB provides a short investigation of the early universe, with minute temperature changes offering basic snippets of data about the conditions not long after the tremendous blast. Analysts used the CMB as a dependable marker to check colossal pieces of the material universe, including the universe's expansion rate. Edwin Hubble had previously made such assessments in the late 1920s. He saw that faraway enormous frameworks were making some distance from us every which way, and their speed was associated with their distance, a relationship currently known as the Hubble Guideline or the Hubble Constant. Notwithstanding the reality that Hubble's assessments were not as accurate as they are today, they were critical. When the CMB was tracked down, subject matter experts recalculated the expansion rate, seeing it as significantly lower than Hubble's basic examination. Subsequent recalculations, using type IA supernovae as standard candles, gave more definite measures. However, blunders remained, and the difference in expansion rate checks has been known since the 1990s. Experts speculated that there may be issues with the CMB data analysis strategies or the possibility of general improvement. This uniqueness, known as the S8 tension or Hubble strain, suggests that our interpretation of the universe may be fundamentally flawed. Since the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, started its tasks, it has provided remarkable data that could help with figuring out the issue. Worlds so old and mature that their development may theoretically have started before the Big Bang are challenging old coherent theories. Space science now faces what is considered to be the best crisis in present-day cosmology. The improvement speed of the universe and the speculation of how things came to be are under outrageous examination. New pictures reveal a universe that shifts, from an overall perspective, from past models. The S8 strain has filled in as an early warning for experts who still adhere to old hypotheses, now grappling with the affirmation that our interpretation of the universe may be deficient. This weakness has left many inspectors lamented and disheartened. To address this crisis, we must appreciate how science functions. Speculative specialists use a blend of mathematical models, observational data, and reasonable reasoning to arrive at conclusions. Their understanding comes from seeing peculiarities, test results, and speculative examinations. The term theory itself suggests advancements and considerations rather than outright real factors. Our data comes from pictures provided by telescopes, sound waves, and radiation captured by radio telescopes, as well as data from neutrino and gravitational wave detectors. 
The James Webb Space Telescope grants us to isolate the most laid-out light into person frequencies and look at it in marvelous detail. It can show what parts were accessible in vast frameworks billions of years earlier, the mass held inside them, and the number of stars present. However, Webb's photos may have limitations. For example, it can't perceive frameworks or dim openings that produce similar magnificence due to gravitational lensing. Our comprehension has progressed to consider different possible results, often pardoning elective explanations. New disclosures from the James Webb Telescope offer significant signs that could supersede old theories with new pieces of information. Analysts are grappling with these revelations, which seem so unprecedented that tracking down new clarifications is proving challenging. The latest disclosures are shaking the underpinnings of physical science, causing concern among various experts. Actual science guidelines today are still determinant, affected by Isaac Newton's 17th century work. For a seriously long time, his guidelines of development and gravity provided the foundation for understanding the real world and the universe. Newton's guidelines function commendably under typical conditions on Earth. However, in space, his considerations required expansion, accomplished by Albert Einstein during the 20th century. Einstein's unique theory of relativity, published in 1905, changed how we decipher reality, showing that the laws of physical science are similar to the spectator's movement. His general theory of relativity, published in 1915, expanded these considerations with mathematical figures of general relativity, explaining gravitational idiosyncrasies through the bend of spacetime achieved by masses like stars or universes. While Einstein's theories were clear in various regions, he saw their limits and searched for a binding unifying structure without progress. No scientist has yet succeeded in this attempt. It is fascinating to consider where the mistakes could lie. Michio Kaku, a prominent American astrophysicist, proposed that solving this issue could lead to a Nobel Prize. We need to explore whether there have been misinterpretations of idiosyncrasies or if telescopes themselves might be to blame. Dark matter and dark energy are top suspects in the cosmological crisis. Current models suggest that dark matter and dark energy together account for around 95% of the universe. Neither has been clearly seen or demonstrated to exist. They may not exist or perhaps have properties we don't yet understand. One chance being inspected is that dark matter's properties might have evolved over time, potentially showing insight into gravity. This should cause an interaction through mass or space-time. Gravity has not been definitively shown to act exactly as expected. However, the reality of space-time twists, as proposed by Einstein, has been supported several times. We can't completely block the credibility that gravity has astonishing properties or that some other effect is causing gravitational interaction over time. Explicit properties in cosmology and space science have been spread out as central constants recognized as reliable, generally due to their consistency. Assessments suggest that small assortments in these constants could offer new insights into the universe, potentially grasping idiosyncrasies without dark energy. It is also possible that our understandings of light movements have been off, leading to mistaken distance assessments and grandiose framework ages. Perhaps our assumptions about the universe's conditions were imperfect, or we misread the cosmic microwave background radiation. It could attempt to be simply that the universe doesn't originate from a singular early stage, testing the speculation of the Big Bang. Little errors in the Webb telescope or other observational devices can't be ruled out. Some subject matter experts and scientists recognize that mistakes in instrumentation, data handling, or understanding are generally possible. The persistent reassessment of cosmological hypotheses highlights the principal nature of legitimate advancement. The James Webb Space Telescope's observations are more than an innovative leap. They represent an enormous moment in our journey to unravel the universe's secrets. As we wrestle with these revelations, it is key to see the broader context and repercussions of such reliable changes in the area of cosmology. The methodology involved is often driven by the need to refine hypotheses in alignment with new insights. The discovery of exceptional anomalies or abnormalities in established hypotheses can be unsettling, but it also presents a critical opportunity for legitimate development. 
Hypothetical models in cosmology provide a clear structure for understanding the universe's origins, progression, and advancement. However, as new data emerges, these models should be tested and, if necessary, rethought to accommodate new insights. One critical area of focus is the nature of dark matter and dark energy, which are central to contemporary cosmological models. Dark matter, a subtle type of matter that doesn't emit or absorb light, was proposed to account for irregularities between observed galaxy rotations and the mass expected by recognizable matter alone. Dark energy was introduced to address the observed accelerated expansion of the universe. At any rate, despite their fundamental positions in current models, both dark matter and dark energy remain intriguing, with investigations on Earth having until now failed to indisputably identify them. This has led researchers to explore alternative hypotheses and possible explanations. The trial of grasping dark matter and dark energy is heightened by the vast scale associated with cosmological studies and the observation of distant universes. The cosmic microwave background radiation, along with other remarkable features, provides indirect evidence of these components. Yet, their elusive nature remains subtle. This uncertainty has prompted analysts to consider a range of hypotheses, from modifications to existing models to entirely new laws of physics. Some theories suggest that dark matter could be made of more intriguing particles than previously thought, or that dark energy could represent a new fundamental force. Another captivating area of cosmological study is the investigation of cosmic inflation. This theory proposes that the universe underwent rapid expansion in its earliest moments, leading to the observed large-scale structure. Inflation resolves several puzzles in the Big Bang model, including the universe's uniformity and lack of magnetic monopoles. Yet, the mechanism driving inflation remains mysterious. As new observations from the James Webb Space Telescope are analyzed, the hope is to gain deeper insights into the universe's earliest moments and refine our understanding of inflationary processes. In summary, the James Webb Space Telescope has provided new perspectives that challenge long-held cosmological theories. These revelations, while potentially destabilizing to established ideas, also open opportunities for growth and innovation. As analysts and cosmologists grapple with these findings, the journey toward a more profound understanding of the universe continues, a testament to the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of science.